How should a company first approach funding their overseas operation, and then uh, you know maybe kind of the next question being uh, how do they get that money back into the U.S. eventually? Right. Yeah. And and you know we'll talk about obviously some some generalities here because it depends on your particular structure in the industry and size of operations, et cetera. But there's a few rules of thumb, and I'll, I'll probably I'll go through what you know what I would suggest as funding mechanism, sort of in the order of how I would suggest them, and that is first of all I think you fund through appropriate transfer pricing mechanisms. Um, transfer pricing approaches are generally preferable to debt, um, uh, it, particularly where you're using something like a cost plus mechanism or a limited risk distributor to minimize local tax, avoid cash buildups in, in a variety of different countries, and you can simplify your accounting uh, processes as well and, and limit the exit costs if you have to, have to leave the country. Um, the second probably most common is debt financing. Uh, it's certainly preferable to equity. Um, due to the ability to deduct uh, interest uh, and pay back debt in a generally in a tax efficient manner, uh, also debt is particularly effective in an acquisition scenario where you're you know you're investing in a, in a particular existing uh, operation that can be leveraged, uh, and where there's multiple entities planned, a foreign finance company should be considered as part of that debt and, and certainly currency management considerations. Um, one element that probably again of particular importance is is foreign development costs. And generally, uh, I would suggest funding those through some kind of an IP structure rather than directly from the U.S. company. Again, it's going to help facilitate uh, effective uh, tax planning down the road. Equity is probably the least effective funding approach. Uh, dividends are not generally deductible. Uh, they can be taxable to the recipient. Uh, many countries have limitations on your ability to uh, <coughs> reduce the equity through dividend distributions. Uh, generally, you're going to think about equity mainly from a minimum capitalization perspective and as I think we talked about a little earlier uh, the formation of companies uh, in many countries requires a minimum capital uh, and um, uh, you also want to think about thin cap limitations which can limit your ability to deduct interest and uh, create negative equity situations. Uh, the final point on this is, is, is just real briefly intercompany accounts. Open accounts is generally not a great idea. It leaves sort of uh, some concerns around how those open accounts are going to be treated and you have uh, potentially interest in withholding tax issues that can arise.